This is the origins of Adopt Me and the sad truth of why it was created. Adopt Me is one of the most played Roblox games ever. Being a very popular game, some may question the origins of why this game was created and how it managed to get developed. Today, I'll be explaining everything you need to know about how Adopt Me was created. If you didn't know already, Adopt Me has two co-creators, Nufissi and Bthink, both are very popular and well-known Roblox developers in the community. Both of these developers had originally produced their own video games before working on Adopt Me Together. And some of these video games were actually extremely popular, with the main one being called Treeland. Treeland is a game developed by Nufissi, where you build a treehouse by using currency and by selling fruits and completing tasks. You'd build fruit harvesters that are part of your treehouse. Now you may question, well, how has that got to do with anything to do with Adopt Me and how it was created? Well, Nufissi is actually the co-founder of Adopt Me, meaning that these previous games actually are very relevant to the creation behind Adopt Me. Because if this didn't happen, I guess Adopt Me wouldn't really exist. Treelands at the time was a very popular game on Roblox, with hundreds of thousands of people making YouTube videos on this weekly and producing lots of cool updates. Unfortunately, it came to a point where something happened in the Treelands community, resulting in no more updates and some other things. Nufizzi, the creator of Treelands, actually created a Reddit post. Reddit is a social media account typically for users over the age of 16, which means most of you guys may not have read or known about this story whatsoever. But I thought we'd share it today so you guys can get a better understanding towards the creation of Adopt Me. Unfortunately, New Fissy was getting lots of critique on his decision to stop development on Treelands and now focus on working on Adopt Me. Treelands had a total of 15 million visits, compared to Adopt Me with a total of 25 billion, which is a significant amount. In this social media post, New Fissy reacts to someone placing lots of criticism behind his choice of no more further updates on this video game. The video game was in beta stage and was completely cancelled with no messages or anything, and players had to go and spend 25 Robux to go and play this game. Nufizzi himself states he wants to discuss this and shed some light on the whole situation, because Reddit is 13 plus. As not the target audience of Adopt Me, I'm also ready to fend off the trolls and the haters. I just ask that everyone read his entire opinion before people make any judgments on it. Which makes complete sense, as a lot of the time people don't listen to the whole story and just skip to parts because they can't be bothered. And you probably should listen to the whole story to get a better understanding. Nufissi starts off in his speech by expressing his deepest gratitude to those who have supported him in the era of Treeland. Like many of the players, he is nostalgic of the game. There are so many positive voices in the community who have shaped him and encouraged him and also inspired Nufissi. Nufissi states that the elephant in the room is why he decided to lead the Adopt Me team over building Treelands in the position where Adopt Me is today. His closest friends and advisors within the Treelands community know the answers and understand the nonsenses of his decision, but he'd like to take the time to publicly explain his personal views. There's a statement saying apparently one of the people working on it passed away, he doesn't know if that changes anything. Unfortunately, Nufisi confirmed that this was true, and the effects of losing this important individual had deep ramifications for his team. The individual was with them from the beginning, and their loss caused a senior member of our team to spiral into sadness. They kept the rest of the details private because they didn't really want to fully explain. But obviously, this happening caused a big devastation, which it would. I imagine that this developer was quite a young age, and obviously, that is tragic news. Based off of this, the atmosphere started to become unhealthy for the team, so they fully decided to stop working on the game Treelands. There were some other reasons, such as the fact that he started making the video game when he was in high school, meaning the coding wasn't actually great, it was very messy. Where he was reaching a point where Treelands couldn't progress further. Now, some of you are still probably wondering, how in the world has this got to do with Adopt Me? New Fissy states, now let's talk about Adopt Me. Many of you are upset that he stopped working on Treelands to work on, of all games, Adopt Me. He states, 
Everyone now knows why he left Treelands, but why did he choose Adopt Me? He then says that, do you remember Club Penguin or Noontown, Neopets or Tamagotchi? Games that kids grew up with. The reality is that Adopt Me is the modern day equivalent of games that children will grow up with, which I completely agree with. He states, when choosing where to put his time, he focuses on where he can make the most impact. Adult Me is the place where lots of people enjoy playing the game every month, an experience that many people will remember into their childhood, similar to how nostalgic these games were for him. He is now genuinely happy working with his team, building the highest quality content, with the strongest engineering practices and the most creative art. At the end of the day, that is what matters to him the most. New Fizzy states that he left Treeland to find happiness, and he has discovered it. Without New Fizzy, Adopt Me wouldn't really be where it is today, with him being the co-founder of Adopt Me, obviously meaning that he has developed quite a lot himself, alongside hiring the official team that went and produced the game that it is today. There are still things inside of the game such as the creator rattle which is created by New Fizzy himself, which is a little replica of his actual Roblox avatar. New Fizzy is also actually located inside of the Adopt Me school, where you can go and visit him, where he is standing right here. New Fizzy has actually recently had an outfit change where he used to have this black cat, and now he has a nice red one, which is actually pretty cool. I hope now everyone has a better understanding into the development and creation of the well-known popular video game Adopt Me. Unfortunately, there was a sad truth behind the creation of the world's most popular Roblox video game. Let me know in the comment section, do you play Adopt Me or were you just generally intrigued about the creation of one of the most popular video games in a Roblox and the sad story behind it. If you do like the video game Adult Me, I post videos on this game daily, so be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications if you're intrigued to find out more about the video game. Thank you very much everyone for listening to today's story, and I hope you all have a great and fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Follow my Roblox profile at CookieCutterYT by clicking the three dots and press follow. Follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes at MattyAJP where I post a bunch of things including how to get into my videos and also tons of awesome giveaways including albino monkeys and tons of Adopt Me pets. Big shout out to all of my fans and be sure to go and use star code CANDY, C-A-N-D-Y when purchasing Roblox, Roblox Premium or Roblox gift cards. Be sure to go and enter that at the code. And if you go and use star code CANDY, let me know on social media and I will go and try reply to as many people as possible who go and use my star code. Goodbye.